Hi, welcome to my reading teacher. We are finishing the Puppets of Spell Horse today. Kind of sad about that. It's been a lovely read. It's been entertaining, interesting. I haven't read a story about puppets ever. So thank you, Kate DiCamillo, for keeping us entertained and giving us some great vocabulary words, some lessons. Uh, it is dressed like a student today, so I'm wearing my Monday, Friday pug shirt. Uh, I can't wait to see the students are going to dress like teachers today. Let's see how that is. All right. So we had finished chapter 27 and now we're in a section called, no, I'm sorry. We had finished chapter 28. So now we're in a section called Coda and Coda in music means like the finale or Coda in literature means like the end, the conclusion. Do you remember the puppet said Emma one night when she was visiting Martha? Do you remember how we put on a show? So you can tell that they have grown up. This is many, many years later. And they're leading to for us to believe that because it says, the grown sisters were sitting together in front of the fireplace in the blue room. Of course, said Martha. There was a wolf and a king and a girl and a boy. And an owl, said Emma. Yes, said Martha, and an owl. And then Jane Twittam disappeared, said Emma, and the puppets disappeared too. Hmm. The fire crackled and popped. It was raining outside, wind beat against the windows. I like to think, so think about it, the puppets disappeared with Jane Twittam, and we know that she took them in the chest. It was raining outside when we, wind beat against the window. I like to think, said Emma, that Jane Twittam took the puppets and traveled the world putting on shows. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yes, well, said Martha, I suppose anything is possible. Maybe I'll write a story about it, said Emma in a dreamy voice. Maybe I'll write about the puppets and Jane. I think they would all like that, said Martha. She was quiet for a moment, and then she said, make sure that you mention in the story that the wolf had sharp teeth, very sharp teeth indeed. If you remember the beginning, they, he said, she, the wolf said it over and over again. And then it shows a picture. I want you to look carefully. I believe that is Jane Twittam. And look at the box that she is holding. And if you look very, very, or not holding, it's on the back of the camel. So I want you to imagine where is she in this picture? What country is she in? What type of animal is she on? Is she on a camel? And are those the puppets in the back of her box? What adventures has she been on with these amazing puppets? All right. I'm sad to say that the Puppets of Spell Horse is over. 28 chapters and an end called Coda, which means the ending. Um, it was a lovely book illustrated by Julian Morstead and written by Kate DiCamillo. Thank you for listening. This one is from the library, so I will keep my delicious, adorable puppets and I will return this book and you can check it out library or get it on Amazon. Thank you.